फ्रेंड्स हमें फिजिओलजिर ह्यूमैन फिजिओलजिर कि विषय नहीं आज के नोट्स के पढ़ब अपनारा चाहिए हमारे साथ पढ़ते करें What is physiology? The word physiology comes from the ancient Greek word physiologia, which means natural philosophy. Physiology is the study of normal function within living creatures, which covering a range of topics that include organs, anatomy, cells, biological compounds, and how they all interact to make life possible. Here we also see another definition: physiology. Physiology is the branch of medical science which explains the physical and chemical factors that are responsible of the origin development and progression of life it is reference from guyton now branches of physiology several branches have been created for physiology for better understanding these are cell physiology human physiology plant physiology system physiology evolutionary physiology bacterial physiology comparative physiology environmental or ecophysiology mammalian physiology viral physiology vertebrate physiology intervertebrate physiology some information about history of physiology 420 bc hippocrates father of medicine 900 bc aristotle relationship between structure and function humoral theory of disease 130 to 200 ad claudius galenus body functions founder of experimental physiology 1419 to 15 58 zin fardel introduced the term physiology 1628 william harvey blood pump 1858 Joseph Blaster blood coagulation 19th century Michael Foster and Alfred Binet elaborated general physiology based on the cell 1920 August Co Nobel prize discovered how capillaries flow blood and also regulated 20th century Walter Cannon <coughs> and discovered homeostasis now definition about human physiology Human physiology explains the specific characteristics and mechanism of the human body that make it a living being. In human physiology, complex control system is responsible for remaining alive. Example: Hunger makes us seek food. Fear makes us seek refuge. Sensation of cold makes us cold for warmth. Now, importance of physiology. Physiology is the vast discipline in medical science. It explains the physical and chemical factors that are responsible for the origin, development, and progression of life. Physiology is the key for understanding all branches of medical science, such as pathology, immunology, pharmacology, etc. A sound knowledge of physiology and other related basic discipline is essential for the relation, rational practice of. medical and related health sciences an important role of physiology is understanding how different parts of the body are controlled how they interact how they adapt to changing condition it also concerned with the specific characteristics and mechanism of the human body that make it a living being physiology also the basis of medicine now physiology and related science Physiology has a strong link with other discipline. It is highly related to cardiovascular science, cell physiology, endocrinology, exercise physiology, neurobiology and neurophysiology, neuroscience, oncology, pathology, reproductive biology, vision science, biochemistry, anatomy and also pharmacology. Levels of the organization of the human body. One cell. Cell are the smallest structural and functional units of all living organisms a number of cells are gathered to form tissues each tissue has a, a specialized function example blood muscle etc the entire body contains about 1 and 40 digit 0 cells which each type of cell is specifically adapted to perform one or a few particular function example rbc transport oxygen from the lungs to the tissues there are many types of cell in the body including nerve cells blood cells epithelial cells muscle cells tissue tissue contains 
a group of cells with a similar structure working together for a specific function. There are four types of tissue mainly in human body, muscle tissue, epithelial tissue, connective tissue, nervous tissue. Now organ. Organ are the structure that made of two or more different types of tissue. Here we see a chain. Some cells makes tissue, some tissue makes organs, and some organs makes systems. Then our body uh, processed system. An organ system is a group of anatomical structure that work together to perform a specific function or task. The function of the body's organ system overlap considerably, and body could not function without the cooperation of all of its organ systems. The failure of even one organ system could lead severe disability or even death. The human body is composed of 11 different organ systems. These include the following. Cardiovascular system. Ridjantra o Raktobahi Nari Shambandaniya. Digestive system. Poripak. Tantra Shambandaniya. Endocrine system. Abhantarin Karan Shamparkita. Atwa Harmon. Intogumentary system. Charma Shamparkita. Muscular system. Peshi Tantra Shamparkita. Nervous system. Sraya Tantra Shamparkita. Skeleton system. Konkal Shamparkita. Respiratory system. Shoshan Tantra Shamparkita. Reproductive system. Prajanan Shambandaniya. Limpatic or Immune system, Loshika o Rokpotirudot Bevasta, Shamporkio. Urine system, Mutra, Shamondanio. Now, homeostatis. The term homeostatis was first coined by W.B. Cannon. Homeostatis is a key concept and understanding how our body works. It means keeping things constant. The word homeostatis comes from two Greek words. Homeo means similar and status means evil. stable. A formal definition of homeostasis is homeostasis is a characteristic of a system that regulates its internal environment and tends to maintain a stable, relatively constant condition of properties. Essentially, all organs and tissues of the body help to maintain these conditions. For instance, kidney maintain constant ionic concentration, lungs maintain continuous supply of oxygen to the cells, gastrointestinal system provide nutrients. Hum another simple definition of homeostasis is homeostasis is the ability to maintain and regulate its own internal condition. Feedback mechanism. A feedback mechanism is a process that uses the conditions of one component to regulate the function of other. It is done either increase or dampen the change in the system. When the process tends to increase the change in the system, the mechanism is known as positive feedback mechanism and the process seeks to counter the change and maintain equilibrium. This mechanism is known as the negative feedback mechanism. Now positive feedback mechanism. If the initiating stimulus causes more of the same, it is called positive feedback mechanism. A feedback mechanism resulting in the amplification or growth of the output signal. Another simple definition, this is a process where our body actually encourages or promotes. Some examples of positive feedback mechanism, blood clotting, perturation mechanism or salivate, alerts, generation of nerve signals, insulin secretion in the response of high blood glucose, digestion process, menstrual cycle, uh, regulation of lactation, coagulation cascades, um, a fever, inflammation, irreversible shock. Now negative feedback mechanism. If some factor becomes excessive or deficient a control system which consists of a series of changes that return the factor toward a certain mean value thus maintaining homeostasis. This is called negative feedback mechanism. This is a process where our body reverses change and that is occurring. Example, blood pressure control system, regulation of carbon dioxide, 
concentration, regulation of acid base balance, regulation of water and electrolyte balance, temperature regulation or thermoregulation, regulation of hormonal balance, regulation of plasma, calcium, production of RBC, circulation of blood, regulation of spermatogenesis, control of respiration, control of thyroid hormone secretion. Difference between positive and negative feedback mechanism. Definition If the initiating stimulus causes more of the same, it is called positive feedback mechanism. If the same factor becomes excessive or deficient, a control system which consists of a series of changes that return the factor toward a certain mean values, thus maintaining homeostasis, this is called negative feedback mechanism. Rule It can sometimes be useful, but sometimes it causes vicious cycle or that. Most control systems of the body act by this mechanism maintain homeostasis. Most control system of the body act by this mechanism to maintain homeostasis. Example blood clotting, perturbation mechanism, LSR, so generation of nerve signal, digestion process, negative feedback. BP control system, control, regulation of carbon dioxide concentration, regulation of acid base balance, regulation of um, water, cons, water balance, temperature regulation of thermoregulation. Now body fluid, total body fluid, 60% of body weight or about 20-42 liter in a 70 kg adult man. Total body fluid, two types, extracellular fluid, ECF intracellular fluid ICF extracellular fluid 20% or one third of the total body weight ICF or intracellular fluid 40% or two third of the total body weight extracellular fluid or ECF again two types interstitial fluid 11 liter plasma 3 liter interstitial fluid again two ty three types Interstitial limb fluid, fluid in the dense, fluid in the dense connective tissue, transcellular fluid, one to two liter, transcellular fluid, again four types, CSF, intraocular fluid, fluid in GIT and respiratory tract, fluid in potential spaces, examples of fluid. Example of potential spaces, fural cavity, cavity, pericardial cavity, peritoneal cavity, synovial cavity. Here are two simple definitions. Body fluid presents in different compartments of the body is called body fluid. The fluid present in different compartments of the body is called body fluid. Here are ECF fluids that occupy outside the cells of the body ICF fluids that occupy inside the cells of the body or another definition body fluid are liquids within the bodies of living people in a normal healthy man the total body water is about 60% of the total body weight but it is slightly lower in women why it is slightly lower in women? Total body water is led less in case of women that means about 50%. Because women normally have more fat than men. Now difference between ECF and ICF. ECF present outside the cell. ECF present outside the cell. ICF present inside the cell. Contains mainly sodium, calcium, chlorine, bicarbonate contains mainly potassium, magnesium PO43 provides ion and nutrients to the cell for maintaining cellular life provides essential fluid media inside the cell for chemical reaction protein content is less, protein content is high Total amount is 40 liter. Total amount is 28 liter. PO2 is equal to 35 millimeter mercury more. PO2 20 millimeter mercury less. P carbon dioxide 46 millimeter mercury less. P carbon dioxide 55 millimeter mercury more. 
PS is equal to 7.4 PS is equal to 7 Definition of PCF The fluids that occupy outside the cells are collectively called ECF It constitutes about 20% one third of the body weight The ECF contains large amount of sodium, calcium, hydrogen bicarbonate nutrients example oxygen glucose fatty acids and amino acids and carbon dioxide and other cellular waste products average 40 liters in a normal 70 kg adult icf the fluids that occupy inside the cells of the body are collectively known as intracellular fluid or icf it constitutes about 40 percent two-third of the body weight it contains large amount of potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus, and uh, phosphorus and phosphorus tetroxide ions. Average uh, twenty eight liters in a normal seventy kg adult man. Now cellular communication. It is a process by which one cell communicates with the other cells or it is a sophisticated communication system to coordinate the function of cells, tissues and organs by a variety of regulatory signals to maintain internal environment for maintenance of life. Now, now mechanism of cellular communication. Cell communicate with one another by a chemical messenger within a given tissue. Some messengers move from cell to cell via gap junctions without entering the ECF. In addition, cells are affected by chemical messengers secreted into ECF or by direct cell-to-cell -cell contact. Chemical messengers typically bind to protein receptor in the surface of the cells or in some instances. In the cytoplasm or the nucleus, triggering sequences of the intracellular senses that produce their physiological effect types there are six types of intracellular communication or chemical messenger in neuroendocrine or, or neural endocrine neuro autocrine endocrine autocrine paracrine juxtacrine autocrine communication the cell releases a hormone which acts on the same cell from which they are secreted functions Molecules act on the same cell that produce them. It provides structural and biochemical support to the cells. Example, suma to stain immune cells. Endocrine communication, it is a special type of paracrine communication between cells in the nervous system function pertaining to neurosecretion. They act as a neural communicators. They regulate the sensitivity to other cells to stimulation. Example acetylcholine neuropeptides. Paracrine communication the cells which act on the night boring cells and local hormones diffuse a short distance to other cells. Function regulate cell proliferation. The stimulates adjacent cells molecules act on nearby cells. Example gastrin growth and clotting factors. Endocrine communication it involves sending a signal through throughout the whole body by secreting hormones into the bloodstream or animals. The cells that produce hormones in animals are called endocrine cells. It works with the nervous system. Main function is maintaining homeostasis, secretion of various hormones, coordinate communication throughout the body, thyroid hormone, testosterone, progesterone and gonadotropic are examples. Neuroendocrine communication release neurohormone from nerve cells which travel via the circulation to distant target cells. Neurons secrete single molecules regulation of ER blood flow through the lungs and controlling how quickly food moves through the gastrointestinal tract. Example oxygen, adrenal ADAs. Juxtacrine communication multiple growth factors are released extracellularly on the transmembrane protein such as TGF alpha which ensure with 
another cells having TGF alpha receptor. There are three types of signal in nose pathway: extracellular matrix, gap junction the function that transmits signals to the cell membrane via protein and lipid. Communicates with intracellular compartments of two adjacent cells. Interact. Example: transforming growth factors. Alpha. Now, <coughs> now membrane transport. It is a biophysiochemical phenomenon by which different substances are transported across the cell's membrane from outside to inside the cells or inside to outside the cells. Types: the transport process of micromolecules, transport process of macromolecules, transport processes of macromolecules. Two types: exocytosis and endocytosis. Exocytosis, the process by which cells release macromolecules to the exterior, is called exocytosis. Neurotransmitters, hormones, enzymes, proteins are released from the cells by this process. To endocytosis, it is the reverse of exocytosis. This process by which cells take up large molecules is called endocytosis. It is two types. Phenocytosis, cell drinking, phagocytosis, cell eating. Phenocytosis, ingestion of substances that are, are in solution and not visible under microscope. It is called um, phenocytosis. Example, ingestion of protein, vitamins, etc. Phagocytosis, cell eating, ingestion of substances visible under microscope such as bacteria, dead cell, tissue, debris, um, is called phagocytosis. Transport processes of micromolecules, membrane transports, there are two types, active transport, energy from hydrolysis of ATP. Passive transport, passive transports. Um, now two types: osmosis, diffusions. Diffusion also two types: simple diffusion, no carrier proteins. Facilitated diffusion with carrier proteins. Active transport also two types: primary active transport, secondary active transport, primary active transport. Example: sodium potassium pump, calcium pump, hydrogen pump. Secondary ex active transport also two types. One, mm, cool transport, counter transport, cool transport. Example, sodium glucose, contrasport, contrasport, sodium glucose, contrasport, sodium amino acid, cool transport, counter transport, sodium calcium, counter transport, sodium. Hydrogen counter transport. Friends, this is uh, up to this. Pore kathaabe, pore kakhono onno kuno topics niya kathaabolbe shebojonto bhala thakho. Shabai ke thanks.